Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another awesome collection video, Classic Toys, and in this case, Toys of the 1960s. Today, we're going to take a look at the Color Forms Outer Spacemen, also known as the Color Forms Aliens, bendy figures that were came out in the late 1960s. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. Also have in the background a Major Matt Mason space station set and a Matt Mason to show how uh, that these color forms aliens were complementary to Mattel's brand uh, space station and uh, astronaut sets. So you could use them as aliens. They're out at some of the same times. The Outer Spacemen came out in 1968, 69 were on sale. I have managed to get the backing cards for six of them, but not for Astronautilus, or at least not that I could find for this video. Uh, we're going to take a look at them here. I have other figures of them in different uh, conditions, and a lot of them without uh, extras that they came with the helmets or their weapons but these have them and I'll show them here some of them are reproduction pieces on the weapons the the staff for astronautilus I believe the wings and possibly the gun for a commander comet and I think that's it the other ones are all original there he is there. Very cool. They're my three favorites. Can't say which one I like the most. Colossus Rex is like a beefed up creature from the Black Lagoon. The classic green, little green spaceman, Alpha 7. And how cool is Astronautilus, an octopus guy. We'll look at the cards and everything a little bit. So these were backing cards. I managed to get someone had saved, and you see they had taken the plastic bubble off, and on some of them they kept more of the the background. Others it was completely ripped off. But uh, they're extremely expensive and hard to find. I only have Alpha 7 mint on the card. And it's hard to find even loose cards, so these cards have value and are expensive to get. To use them as a display on a shelf. And I've never really had a nice enough space to have them all out on a shelf. Maybe someday. I had to dig these out of storage. There's a mat there. Sitting on his cat track. You might recognize the look on some of these creatures. This one is based on the movie The Man from Planet X, <clears throat> which also had in it as one of the actors, William Shallert. I think he was the father on Patty Duke show and many, many other performances. Very cool figure. And he comes with that ray gun and helmet. A lot of times, most of the times, the helmets are missing and or broken. The guns are missing, and even on this, the kids managed to pop out the little chest piece device on them. You can see how fragile the staff is for Zodiac, and he's got a neat ray gun. This, the, the wings pop in the back, so most of the commander comments are missing the wings somehow, and of course the helmet, and then a fragile... Uh, arrow type gun he comes with a, a ray gun and you can see it in the pictures in the background there he comes with a big purple mace it has a little bit of wear on it always reminds me of a grape lollipop he comes with his helmet and a, a gun usually you don't find the figures with any of the accessories or well with all of them and you can see they have various types of wear. The paint came off easily. This one they have some where the blue is, I think, red. Or the green dot is red. It's the uh, Alpha 7's The Man from Mars. 
Colossus Rex, the man from Jupiter, the man from Uranus, ha ha, Orbitron, Commander Comet, of course, is from Venus, Zodiac is from Saturn, Electron Positive, or as some kids call them, Electron Plus, was uh, from Pluto, and uh, let's take a back look at the back of his card. I don't fall too much. And Astronautilus is the man from Neptune. Neptune, so underwater. So you can see the back here. They all have that same picture, but they each have a uh, a write-up for them, particularly for that. I'm not going to show them all. I might do that on uh, other videos, individuals. I've done a few individual of these before, and uh, I did a group ing of uh, Alpha 7s because they got like 10 or 12 of those. You can see this is was unpunched. S some of the other ones or all the other ones were punched for a peg hook. These were either on peg hooks or in, in slot cardboard display boxes to sell them at the point of sale. Nice pictures. I, they did that as a puzzle, so I have that one, and they did some of the other ones in groups on puzzles, and they also did this. I'll show those in a future video. So there are other things to collect for the outer spacemen, and later on they did little gray plastic <coughs> ones <coughs> from like a Hong Kong ripoff company and stuff, so it's different things. And then there was the famed second set that they were going to have, which uh, never came out because the fellow had trouble getting to the toy fair. At least that's the story that I know. So there were going to be more of these. And they actually made those because there's a company affiliated with one of the creators of these. Uh, I think it's called Four Horsemen, and they've redone them as plastic-type action figures and a lot. I did one on an Alpha... Uh, on a on an Astronautilus, I think I have. I did one of those. That's the only one I collected. But very neat. So that's an overview of the Coliform Aliens, or as they're officially known, the Outer Spacemen by Coliforms. The Seven Aliens. Very cool. So I'll be doing more videos on them. Started doing some videos on the ideal Zeroids, the robots that are sort of in scale with this, that go with this, and they were on sale, 68, 69, 70. And of course, Matt Mason came out, it was copyright 66, but came out in 67 and sold all the way through 70 and was still in the stores by 71. A so great big line. And I've had a super uh, video of uh, Matt Mason collection, and in, up in that, you can see up on the wall, you can see the Alpha 7 in the package there. I'll leave a link probably to one of the Outer Spaceman videos I've already done. Until next time, more classic toys, awesome collection, classic 1960s toys. Thanks for watching, everyone.